people. <laughs> Five days ago, wasn't it? I think so. Let me double check. I'm no, no, leave your phone there. I'm looking for your phone. Here, we're on TV here. Today's <laughs> Tuesday. That means your surgery must have been on Thursday last week. Is that right? I can't do it. <laughs> I can't recall either. You don't know, remember either one? Your surgery is five days ago. Okay. Your surgery is on Tuesday last week. You always come five days after surgery. I mean, surgery is Thursday last week. Now you got me confused. You always, come, you always come five days after surgery, and if today is Tuesday, that means your surgery must have been on Thursday. All right, you're going home with the tubes hanging out of you. We don't want them. Okay. I never, I'm not an Indian giver, I gave them to you, you take them home with you. <laughs> the tubes don't come out until at least two weeks after surgery. Okay. So that's at least nine days from now. Okay. So anytime after nine days, you can take the tubes out. And I'll show you more about that on that. That feels a way it. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with it. <laughs> All right. So this side looks normal, normal funkiness, normal everything, but looks normal. Okay. No bleeding, no infection, and that's awesome. good. Because those are the things that would keep you from going back to the Valparaiso. Okay. Complications like that, bleeding, infection. And you do not have that. Awesome. Now let's hope for the same for the other side. <laughs> I can see already, it's going to be fine. Awesome, okay. I can feel breeze. That feels so weird. <laughs> okay. I'll scoot you over for you. Now this side is a little bit more sensitive. That's because you're a sensitive person, I guess. <laughs> I think that looks fine too. Awesome. Cool. Right. Now, these are the tubes you're going home with. Okay. I don't want them. <laughs> Anytime after nine days, get a pair of scissors. Even smaller than this if you're not, because I, I, I like the, the bigger ones, but don't get too big a pair of scissors. Get a small pair of scissors. There's a string right here. Put the scissors under the string. Cut the string. Okay. Put a pair of gloves on. And yank out. <laughs> like a lawnmower. A clergyman pull. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Put a pair of, why do you get me going on that? You know I love, I love a good joke. <laughs> Put a pair of gloves on, and it slides right out. It's not a lawnmower. So anytime after nine days, cut the string, pull it out. Cut the string, pull it out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you get back home or someplace safe and you want to take a shower, you go in your bag, get a Band-Aid. Put a band-aid over this tube when you're in the shower. Put a band-aid over that tube when you go in the shower. I don't care which way you put the band-aid. Go on this way or this way. I don't care how you do it. But put a band-aid over those tubes. You go in the shower. When you're in the shower, throw the vest in the wash and dryer to get that clean. Okay. When you come out of the shower, if the band-aids fall off in the shower and they don't stick to you, and soap and water gets all over your tubes, that's okay. Okay. I had a guy here four months ago. He said his band-aids fell off every time never stuck once. 
but put them on anyway. So you go in the shower, band-aid, band-aid, this goes in a wash and dryer. When you're clean and dry, lie down on a better couch with everything open. You're going to put all your dresses on lying down because if you try to put them on standing up, they all fall to the ground. Okay. So you're clean and dry. The vest is clean and dry. You're lying down on a better couch like this with a vest open. You're going to go into your care package, grab a glove if you want, if you want one, grab some antibiotic ointment samples, put some ointment right on top of the brand new nipple position and make okay. that happy. Put the ointment on the scar to make that fade. Ointment never hurt anybody. Yes. <laughs> put the ointment in every place. I, even, I don't even care if you put the ointment where the tooth comes out. And I'm doing this every day? I'm going to talk about it. Uh, After you put the ointment on, go into the care package green gauze, which is about the right size for a nipple. It's not green. Both sides are the same. Okay. Cover up the nipple so we don't look at it ever again. <laughs> go into the care package again. Get some of the white gauze. The white gauze covers mainly the nipple to keep the nipple from rubbing on the vest. Mm -hmm. I don't count how many I put on. If I don't like you, I give you one. And I must like you because I already give you more than one. <laughs> and you have a long drive and you're antsy in the car, so I give you another one. Yeah. Trying to make it pretty because I'm on film here. <laughs> the last thing you put on is a blue gauze that covers a drain. Because what drains the drains, this is for drains. Blue stripe goes on the outside. So, the dressing is ointment every place, green gauze, nipple, white gauze, blue gauze, green, white, blue. Hey. If you're going to do that on one side, you should do it to the other side too. Yeah, that's true. Well, we could do experiments, see what happens on one side, and if he. No, I'm joking. If it was me, I don't know. I would like that experiment. Okay. <laughs> so, ointment goes every place. Ointment goes on the scar. Then green gauze, nipple, that's the right size. Never going to be green, both sides are the same. White gauze covers the nipple to keep it from rubbing on the nasty vest. You would do this either once a day or every other day, whatever is good for you. So it doesn't have to be every day, once a day or every other day. Okay. Sometimes people say, Dr. Wolf, I feel like doing a dressing change, but I don't feel like a shower that day. Can I do a dressing change and no shower? Sure. Okay. Ointment, green gauze, white gauze, blue gauze, green, white, blue. Now, you're going to be doing this for the next nine days. Cut the string, cut the string, take the tubes out. When the tubes come out, you're going to be doing this for at least another week. Because hey. it takes time for those little openings to close up. The fact, I usually tell people, once the openings close up, and you know they're closed up because there's no more drainage coming off because that opening's closed, once the openings close up completely, do the vest for another week after that, just to make sure there's no problems, okay? okay. So nine days, cut the string, nine days, cut the string, take the tubes out, keep doing this until the openings close up. And once the openings close up, wear the vest for another one week. After that, you don't need anything, so you may be doing it for about two more weeks. Now, are you okay? I feel uh, very... Go outside. Yeah. Done, you're done, you're done, you did a great job.